Jones as well. G'day everyone, my name's Dale and uh, uh, it's just great to be together uh, today and uh, remember last week, kids, remember the object that I brought along from our place? And you, some of you said you had one of these at your home as well, a push bike. I don't know if your handlebar grips are just quite as good as these ones, the old grey duct tape. Uh, so uh, I was, does anyone remember what we were talking about last week and why the push bike was an object that we, we brought to church? Can anyone remember what were we talking about? What's Pastor Ian talking about in his message? Uh, yeah, Jess, what do you remember from last week about the push bike? Yeah, lots of different parts, that's right. So we talked about uh, on the push bike there's lots of different parts and they're all a bit different to each other, but they all work together to make the bike work. Now, one of the parts that uh, we sometimes use is, uh, I've, I'm going to turn it on here so everyone can see. Can everyone see this flashing red light? Very good, excellent. So, um, why do we use this on a push bike? Anyone got any ideas? Why would we use this? Oh, you all know, don't you? It's so that you can be safe on the road, especially if you're riding at night time. You can make sure that the other people on the road know where you are. And so uh, if I was to use this on my push bike, um, where would I place it on the bike? Where would I put it? Would I put it, um, like, in my pocket? Is that where I would use it? and ride the push bike like that? No. If I had like a backpack on, would I shove it in my backpack and hide it in my backpack so that no one could see? No, of course not. Where would you put this red flashing light? On the bike, yeah. Uh, this one's got a special little uh, holder so it can go on the seat post there. And so people behind you can see where you are. Uh, I've also seen this uh, placed in some interesting places on people who ride push bikes. Um, sometimes people put them on their backpack, not like in it, but on it, so that people can see behind. I've even seen one of these on the back of someone's helmet. Have you seen that before? Yes, so that it's up nice and high and everyone can see. The main thing is that you would actually make sure that this red flashing light is visible to everyone. Hey, you wouldn't hide it in your pocket as you go riding around at night time. And that reminds me about uh, something that Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5. Jesus said that, uh, that a light is not to be hidden. You know, he said like a city on a hill is visible to everybody. If you had a light in your house and you wanted to uh, make it illuminate the room so that everyone can see, you wouldn't hide that light under a, a bucket or something, would you? You'd put it out so that everyone could see. And that is exactly what we're talking about today because uh, uh, Pastor Ian's sharing in his message that, uh, that everyone is valuable. We learned that last week, but everyone also uh, is important and everyone uh, has a place in God's kingdom and in God's family. And so we need to be uh, influential uh, as we uh, share the good news, as we shine bright for Jesus, that we're not hiding ourselves away, but we're shining Jesus' light nice and bright. And so, kids, uh, it reminds me, too, of, um, of another shining light. Sometimes we see them out in the harbour, uh, like Leeds, where the big ships can come in and they know where to go, which is the left and which is the right. But there's also a local lighthouse. Has anyone ever been to this lighthouse? Does anyone know where this is? Mr Q, what do you think? Where is this one? Cape Cap. Cape Cap, yeah, could be. Is that it? Yep. It's not Busted Head Lighthouse, is it? Oh, I've got you thinking now. Now, there's a couple of lighthouses that are local, and, and uh, it reminded me about this flashing light. Reminds me about, you know, a lighthouse is there to warn about the dangers, warning the ships and the, the pilots of the ships. They don't stick lighthouses down in a gully, do they, down in the bottom of a creek? No. You put the lighthouse right up on top of the cliff or right up on top of a hill where everyone can see about the warning sign. 
And so we need to be influential like that for Jesus. Just like the lighthouse, just like our flashing light on on our push bike, we need to make sure that we're not hiding it, but we're making it visible for everyone to see. Um, Kids, today, if you would like, there's some activity sheets up the back with that theme in mind about shining our light bright for Jesus. So you're invited to come up there and, and grab an activity sheet in a moment. But first, let me pray as we just continue to worship our great God. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for this reminder that we are all important in your church. You've created us with gifts and abilities and and things that we can use for you and your kingdom. Help us to do that. Help us to play our part just like all the parts of the bike work together for your good and for your glory. God, sometimes we can be selfish with that. And we want to use our gifts and abilities for our good and our glory. And we're sorry for the times that we do that. Help us to remember that we're important in the body of Christ. We're important in your church. God, help us to remember that we all play a part as we serve each other and in doing so serve you. And God, help us to remember that we are all important and there's no one less valuable Help us to know how we can shine our light bright for you. Help us to know how we can best be influential for you as we uh, go about our jobs, as we go to school, as we connect with others in the community. We want to shine your light bright uh, so that it brings you glory and magnifies your amazing name. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's continue to worship together. And kids, you can head up to the back for your activity sheets.